Hello everybody, in this basic Rhino video demo, I would like to talk about solids and booleans. Okay, let's start. What I have on screen are a bunch of curves and I would like to create surfaces from them using the surface creation tools such as the Sweep Unreal. Basically, what I want to do is to create a bunch of surfaces which I can later perform further operations to convert them into a solid like object that exhibits properties such as having volume okay now i'm going to perform mirror okay and i'm going to create a surface from this curve using the extrude straight and set the both sides to yes okay i reckon that if we want to create a solid we need to have this covered okay so let's use the surface from planar curves command to cover this region. Okay. And these accessors needs to be trimmed. Because in the real world we don't have things that sticks out like that. Okay. So let's use the trim. Let's repeat the trim again. Now this is the cutting object. Regions to trim. Okay, something like that. Okay. So now we have an object that appears to look like a solid. However, it is still made up of uh, individual surfaces. And in order for us to sort of convert this into a solid or closed poly surface, we need to join all these individual surfaces using the join command. Okay until the object forms a enclosed region within okay so let's do so by clicking the join so the join is an essential command for converting a bunch of surfaces into a solids okay so now let's go to analyze Mass property volume. You notice that our resultant object exhibits a positive value when we check for volume. Okay, this means that this object is now uh, made into a solid. Okay, and once it has been made into a solid or closed poly surface, we can perform the solid tools commands such as the boolean operations okay okay the next thing that i want to show you is uh, the difference between the boolean operations as opposed to the commands such as the trim and the split okay basically if you perform the boolean operations on a solid the resultant object or objects will be solids as well okay however this is not the case when we use the conventional editing tool such as the split or the trim okay so uh let me give you a demonstration for better uh clarity okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a curve here okay and let's create a surface from it by extruding it okay Basically, what I'm going to do is to use this surface as a cutting object, okay? And let's cut this solid using the split command, okay? And see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to use the split. Okay, so select object to split this. Uh, this. A cutting object is this uh, surface. Enter. Okay, and let's see our result. Okay, you notice that our result are actually pieces of um, surfaces with openings. Okay, can you see there's opening here? That means that this result is not a solid. Okay, same goes with this piece here. Okay, so um, let me uh, do the undo. 
okay a two and let me perform a boolean split okay okay so clicking on the boolean split okay select poly surface to split is this solid that we have enter the cutting object is this enter okay now let's look at the result let's hide this okay and you notice that in the case of uh, using the boolean split our resultant objects are actually solids as well okay herein lies the difference between the boolean operations and the conventional tools such as the split and the trim okay that is that um, if you use the boolean operations the resultant objects will still be solids which is great okay if you use the conventional editing tools such as the split or the trim the resultant objects uh, will not be solid okay okay let me delete this okay let me show you uh some other commands such as the boolean difference okay and the uh, boolean union okay and you can, you'll be able to see that the results will be solids as well okay so let me create a cylinder which is also a solid okay Now I would like to use the cylinder as a cutting object, okay? And to do that, we can use the Boolean difference, which will create a resultant object that is also a solid, okay? So let me uh, demo this now. So Boolean difference, so select poly surface to subtract from is our main solid. Enter. Poly surface to subtract with is our uh, cylinder, which like, uh, in this case, like act like a like a cutting tool. Okay, press enter, and you notice that our resultant object is solid as well. Okay, let me undo this, and in a similar fashion, if I were to perform the boolean union. The resultant object will be one single solid. Okay, now you can see that our uh, composition here is made up of a uh, two uh, solid object. Okay, so if I were to perform the Boolean union, select this and this, enter. Okay, the result will be an object with a volume. Okay, a single. Um, merge solid okay something like that okay okay with solids we can also perform edge treatments such as uh, fillers and blends using the solid uh, fillers and blends okay you notice that in Rhino, we also have other uh, fillers apart from the solid fillers, and that is the surface fillet. Okay, so in, in the case here, because our object is uh, solid, I think it's only obvious that we use the solid base fillers and blends. Okay, to perform the edge treatments. Okay, so yeah, this is a point to be aware of. Okay, so let's create some kind of fillers over here. Okay, which can do so by using the fillet edge on the solid tools toolbar. Okay, I think we just leave the radius as one. Okay. Okay, you can see now a uh, uh, fillet has been performed and our resultant object is still a solid.
Okay, with the advent of uh, version 7 of Rhino, we have uh, sub-D tools and I would like to talk about the sub-D objects and their relationship to the solid tools, okay? okay basically, sub-D objects, if they are like fully enclosed, they actually behave like solids as well, okay? So... Uh, let me just uh, do a demo to demonstrate that basically you can perform solid tools operations such as the booleans on the sub d if the sub d is a fully enclosed one like 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 this one that uh, we have on screen okay so what i'm gonna do is to um, do a boolean difference, okay? Do a boolean difference using a cylinder, okay? Let's see what happens. Okay, so let's perform a boolean difference. Okay, so fully different select poly surface to subtract for we can select our sub P. Okay, the, and the uh, poly surface to subtract with is our solid cylinder. Let's press enter. Okay, you notice that we are able to perform Boolean operations on a sub D. Okay. However, the thing to take note is that the resultant object will be converted to NURBS, okay? As you can see over here, okay? It's no longer sub-D, okay? The resultant object is no longer a sub-D. Okay, so this is an area uh, to be aware of when we are using the sub-D, okay? For Boolean operations. Okay, with that, I come to the end of this demo. Hope that's been useful. See you. Bye.